If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. It's 419. Five, four, three, two, one. Smoke them if you got them. We smoke these in hopes that one day nobody gets arrested for smoking these. A nice turnout. Thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your day to come down and support New Hampshire advocates. It means a lot to us. You guys don't understand what this is. This is the beginning of an end. We're cutting the edge in New Hampshire. You're looking at the people right now that are doing it. All of you are part of this history that we're making. I finished law school when I was 21 years old. That's a humble brag to tell you I'm a very high-functioning stoner. I started smoking when I was 16 years old, and I've smoked regularly since then, and smoked about 10 minutes ago. Woo! <laughs> Where are the doctors, and the lawyers, and the other professionals who smoke pot? Why can't they come out, say they do it, say they can still keep a straight job, and not have to hide? We need to normalize normal behavior. <laughs> Portugal penalized everything, meaning they removed all penalties, both civil and criminal. And that's what we need to do here, is just completely remove the penalties to where you can go to a corner store and buy cannabis the same way you can tomatoes. There's no rules on how many tomatoes you can buy. They don't say you're only allowed to buy one jar of marinara sauce and a tiny little pack of ketchup. So if you believe that the law is bad, like I believe, and I'm sure you believe, that the law against cannabis, the drug war, all these things are terrible things. If you think these are bad laws, you can vote to acquit that person. Doesn't matter what evidence they have against him, you have the power as a juror, through the right of jury nullification, to set that person free. Well, one way or another, uh, we're working very hard to get a legalization bill fairly heard before the Senate and you know put on the governor's desk. Um, because one way or another, the House will keep passing that legislation. We will absolutely keep voting it up. Because to keep such activity criminalized and you know putting so many people in cages where they do not need to be, it's just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, we spend far more money than it's worth. And you know, just know that there will always be people up in this building that will be you know fighting to make sure that innocent people or people who are guilty of no real crime um, do not suffer for that choice. This is an issue to which, especially with my generation, is not one of left or right. It's not one where we're seeing one political faction or another political faction taking this aggressive stand. So we need to stop looking at each other in terms of left or right. I see, in all honesty, there is right and there is wrong. We all need to come together. We need to use this time to join up and say, we will not take the crap that you've been dishing us. That we will stand together as one people and say that this is our decision, this is our choice. And if we choose to make it, that's what we decide. We found out that I had a brain growth, inoperable dead center. Nothing they can do, it'll paralyze me or kill me if they touch it. Cannabis was the only thing that kept me going all those years. They theorized I had that for many years of my life. Through concussions of football, uh, probably running away from the police. <laughs> um, but I stand before you now as a more mature person, taking this as a whole not as an industry, but a passion. I don't support legalization. I support ending prohibition. Yeah. So the state lied to us about reefer madness. I mean, it was a bold, terrible, destructive lie. But the greatest lie I think they tell us is that we uh, need them at all that they need to exist at all. I really hope one day we think about the state as 
in the same way we thought about burning witches. I also stand here today on the steps of the court, uh, State House here in Concord, New Hampshire, to ask our governor, Chris Sununu, to pardon all New Hampshire nonviolent drug offenders. Yes. Yeah. Together, we can all take a stand. It's about communicating our ideas. We need to keep the dialogue going, but honestly, we also need some good faith from their end to say, you know what? We want to have this dialogue and the issues you're bringing up are legitimate. And I think starting to ask that we can grow our own plants seems like a good place to start. Thank you. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.